Hey guys, how's it going? Quarterman here. In today's video, I'm going to be taking the top and the doors off of the Bronco, uh, with the exception of the rear, which you can see behind me. And I'm going to go into why that is. But before we get into today's video, I really want to you know, thank all of you guys for the extreme support that has been in the last video. I think it's over like 7,000 views, which in three days is absolutely amazing for my channel. And I'm just so excited to bring you guys the Bronco. And you know, and if you have any questions on it, definitely leave a comment below. But let's get right into this. Let's take this stuff off and hit the road. So as you can see in the trunk here, I have the two front panels, you know, they go, the roof panels right there. Uh, you can store those in the back. Of course, you would not be able to store the top. Uh, you can obviously just tell from the geometry of it, it's not gonna fit. And the doors, they say you can't store them. Uh, I did end up ordering the door bags extra, but I'm gonna go ahead and take these doors off and see if I can get these bags in the back uh, with the seats down. When I'm all done, I'm gonna have basically the doors the front of the roof and i'm going to leave the i'm going to leave rather the rear of the roof the basically the the back section of the molded and color uh simply because it's just me and i don't think i can lift this by myself and i don't want to try so if you saw my previous video on taking delivery you probably saw that this comes with a tool kit uh what you may not know is that the tools are actually stamped bronco and there's a series of tools here for you know different use cases honestly i don't know what all the tools are for uh but i do know that i need this size here, which offhand it is a 13 millimeter, uh, that's for the door bolts. And there's a whole bunch of videos on this, so I'm not going into great detail here, but you have a uh, bolt here and you have a bolt here and you're gonna take those off in order to get the door off. So the instructions for the doors say to, or the door bags rather, say to take the doors off and put them on the ground and then put them in the bags. But I saw another video for the four door and it was to actually wrap the bag around the door before you take it off. So if God forbid you do something crazy putting this down, you know, you don't have the paint exposed. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and definitely copy that and now go ahead and pop those bolts. All right, so I got ahead and measured this. Uh, I don't even have to lift this. I honestly, I don't know how heavy these things are, but they are certainly have some weight to them. I ended up grabbing the tape measure and I need about 50 inches to be able to get this in. And you can see that I'm not gonna make it lengthwise, plus I have to deal with the tape measure trying to kill me. Uh, I have to deal with the bumps for the front of the seats, you know, or for the basically the front of the rear seats. Uh, so yeah, obviously confirmed, you cannot put the doors in the back of the two-door Bronco. Um, if you took the rear seats out and you were gonna use this as more of a utility vehicle, you probably could fashion something and get them in here. But if you have a two-door Bronco, you're gonna need a place to store the top and you're gonna need a place to store the uh, the doors. And I'd like to introduce you guys to the world's littlest Bronco driver. <laughs> Are you ready? Do you want the keys? Here, here's the key. <laughs> All right, so you can see that the door is off. Uh, well, the driver's door, we've, we've got two of them. And I have it here in the box, or the bag rather. Uh, super simple, obviously hard to get on camera, but basically you just slide it in and then zip it up and now your door is nice and protected. So let's go ahead and take the other door off. All right, passenger side door is off. It's completely freed up. And no, I'm not throwing the doors away. I just put them over there to get them out of the way for a minute. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and drive this and see how it is doors off and take the baby out because I don't have a car seat yet. So initial drive impressions after this quick little ride to the store. Uh, it drives really well with the doors off, a little bit louder, uh, but you do get a whole bunch more attention, granted because you have no doors on your vehicle. Uh, but overall, I'm really pleased with it. Like I said, it took about 10 minutes to take the doors off the first time. I think I could probably get it down to maybe six or seven. And then of course I have to find a place to store them, obviously not at a dumpster at my house. Uh, but overall, I'm really impressed with this. And yeah, I'm just having a whole ton of fun with it. Now I just need to find some mud and really enjoy what this thing was built for. I found a mini trail. I don't know if you could even call it that, but it is a dirt road. Um, so baby steps for the Bronco. Of course, it's right next to a road. But anyways, 
Uh, here it is with the doors off and you can see that it's pretty much all open air. Um, you know, if I were to take the rear section off here, there would be no crossbar. So I'll do that in a future video as I need somebody to help me with this, or at the very least, I need to build some sort of a rig to get this off. Uh, Cause you can, as you can imagine, it's pretty heavy. And also if you wrap around the vehicle here, you can tell that it's quite large. Um, and then lastly, I do not want to break this simply because they don't have any replacements right now and I will be without a top for my Bronco, which subsequently would mean I couldn't actually drive it. I just cannot say enough good things about this color, uh, about this spec. You know, I absolutely love black diamond. Uh, one thing I will note, because I'm sure people are curious, the hinges seem to be painted pretty well. Uh, obviously a little light on the paint on the top one, but nothing like that cyber orange that everyone was sharing online. So I think, you know, Ford has definitely upped their quality control and got everything sorted so that you're getting a good Bronco once you take delivery. Whether you wait, you know, a year, 12 months, two days, whatever it is, once you finally get it, you want it to be good. And it seems like that is the case. So here's another shot of the interior with the uh, doors off. Obviously you can see much better lighting. And if I head to the back, I still have the roof panels from when I took those off, just kind of sitting in the back strapped down. Uh, but like I mentioned, you can't put the doors, it kind of stinks, but I knew it going in and I just wanted to see it for myself to make sure that it wasn't, you know, hey, it can't be done, but it turns out it actually can. So the LEDs are gonna flicker, but people had asked about, you know, the rings, do the rings light up? And uh, no, they don't. They are a little reflective, but they don't actually light up. Uh, that's the signature LED kit. And unfortunately it does not come with the black diamond. Uh, like I'd mentioned in my delivery video, I am gonna be looking at possibly changing those out. Um, you know, not really sure if it's gonna be possible, but at the very least, I may look for some clear, uh, some white bulbs for here and also an LED bulb for here, uh, just because I just prefer the white outlook. Uh, I always have on all my vehicles and this would be no different. All right, well, my little day of doors off, roof off, driving around is all complete. And I wasn't gonna make a video on putting the doors back on because honestly, it's the reverse of what you've done. You know, you put them on, you screw them on, you put your cap, you know, obviously your plug, make sure your vehicle's off. However, there is one important thing that if you've never seen a video about this, I wanna make sure that you know about. And that is if I open up this tool kit here, which I'm trying to do one-handed, so I was unable to do it one-handed, but it's out open. And inside of this pouch here, you're gonna see this little thing here that looks kind of like a bullet. It's not. What it's actually for is to put, actually screw on right here, is so that you can actually attach the, uh, the basically the part of the door is gonna sit on here. You make sure that it's nice and centered. Everything's good. You screw in your top bolt and then you'd put in your bottom bolt. This is basically just a guide pin. Uh, and the reason I figured that it would be important to show that is because like I said, you've never seen a video about this. This is super important because if you put these off kilter, I'll show a photo here of a poor soul that ended up putting his doors on, they were slightly crooked and it actually ended up pinching the metal. So you wanna go ahead and take that extra second and put this, you know, put this guide pin on. Otherwise you're just gonna be in for a bad day. All right, both doors are on. You can see driver's door, passenger's door. And then right now, because I don't have car seats or anything in here, I just threw all the bags in the back. Seats still down. Uh, difficulty level putting two door doors on. Uh, harder than the four doors. I can tell you that straight up because they're bigger and they're heavier. Uh, and I actually needed my son on the passenger side to kind of help me set the alignment. And then on the driver's side, I was able to work it properly. Uh, one additional tip I will say is because of these little triangle caps here, go ahead and pop your mirror. You know, that's driving position. Go ahead and pop it forward like that. Gives you more clearance so that you can angle the door kind of in this direction. And then, like I said before, use that pin. Do not lose that pin and you should be fine putting your doors on. All right, final thing I just noticed, um, you need to actually reset your windows. So when you put your doors on, after you put your doors on, you need to roll the windows all the way down, roll the windows all the way up, hold them until the vehicle will lower the windows automatically. Otherwise you can't close your windows. Or, sorry, you can't close your doors. You know, if you're waiting for your Bronco or you have any questions on, you know, my build or the Bronco overall, definitely leave a comment below. Uh, I'm super thrilled, like I said, you know, with the feedback on the last video and over a hundred and something new subscribers on one video is a record for my channel. So I'm super excited about that. But yeah, if you have any questions about this, you know, definitely leave a comment below. 
Definitely subscribe if Broncos interests you, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.